So I'm in Guy Garnett's group. I'm a freshman in physics, actually, but uh, it's actually very useful. And that was a very important piece of information because we'll get to that. Um, anyway, so I'm sort of working on two projects. Um, my first project is some stuff with gesture recognition. Uh, when I first came to the group, I proposed this idea of doing, uh, they were initially doing some Laban movement analysis, which is according to some like classifiers and things like that, that it would take too long to describe in this short presentation. But I introduced the idea of some more simplistic classifiers, things like velocity, acceleration, energy put into motion, things like that. So we started off with that sort of idea. We moved to uh, checking different gestures and using some, using some machine learning to see if those gestures would be able to be recognized by just uh, visual using Connect. And it actually worked. Um, it worked to like 70 or 80%. But we had some issues about uh, dividing between uh, the gestures, especially if they were moving as they were going. So now what we're doing is, um, <coughs> as you can see here, this is the pattern of like a conducting gesture. And each of these peaks is like a beat on um, the conducting gesture. And as of now, it should be working. Um, that we're able to tell when he's moving to a different gesture. And that, combined with the work we've done before, will be very useful in uh, identifying gestures and movement and different expression analysis. And secondly, is the more fun stuff. This is sort of something that I thought of the idea, and then I presented it to the group, and they're like, sure, like, you can do that. So that's what I did. Um, it's essentially modeling the uh, random particles with different random velocities placed in a gravity field, a uh, spring field, just a, any sort of potential field. And uh, the idea of this is to give you as many options as you can to express uh, these sorts of shapes and things like that. So dozens and dozens of different uh, things you can change in this field. And now we're, what we're moving to do is to con uh, control it externally. So things like connect, uh, things like uh, we're using max visualization and also as a GUI to uh, like using an OSC protocol to send information to this. And it's actually really, really interesting. And hopefully, eventually, we'll be able to, uh, this is, a big part about this is real time. So uh, you can just send a command, and it automatically changes. So hopefully, we'll be able to do a lot of cool visualization, things like this. And um, it, I don't know, it's still like an individual project of mine, but it's pretty cool. Uh, that was two minutes, right? Um, are there any questions? Yeah. So at, at real time, how many particles are you thinking of uh, On my computer which is three years old. It's like, uh, I can run like 10 particles. But on a desk, I never even tried it on a desktop. I want you run it once. And it runs pretty fast. So we're thinking about like 20 to 25, hopefully. Uh, and it'll get more efficient as we go. Right now, we're all in MATLAB. So it probably can be more efficient than this. OK, yeah. Uh, no, I actually been able to calculate that, too. I'm running out of time. But I've been able to do that, too. Uh, and yeah, they can collide and bounce off according to their dynamics and stuff like that. It's really cool. Just see me if you want to check it out. <laughs>